Howdy everyone, it's Montana Airgunner here again and on this video I'm gonna show you guys how do I clean my barrel. So stay tuned. Okay, so here we have the custom Bolt with Lothar uh, polygonal unchoked barrel. This is a 30 inch barrel. Uh, Gunsmith helped me to fit it into the action, so he machined the action side and then he did a UNF half by 20 threading here according to the uh, same specification as the original barrel was. And I'll actually link down the part number for this barrel into the description. Uh, also into the video so you guys can custom order one too if you want to and uh, Yeah, let's actually start start to clean this one So what I found out the best possible kit for cleaning the barrel is this one. It's I Think it's 7.99 or something. It's the best 7.99 you can really spend so this is the field kit, it's the pocket field kit for the patchworm. It's really handy dandy, uh, I'll have to show you. So it has the, oops, has the normal style, kind of like a, what do you use on a lawn, lawnmower type stuff. So this is the line. Here's a little stopper, as you can see. So this is the actual line that we're gonna pull through and then we have different sizes of stoppers for every caliber and then you got a little manual here on the front and I'll take a picture of it so you can actually see, see it in further detail and on this field kit there came two pre-soaked uh, patches with ballistol. So this one is soaked in ballistol and this is just a plain one. But we're not gonna use these ones. I have ordered, I think these are, yeah, one and three quarters of an inch patches. We got a good amount of these ones. Then we got seven eighth inch of size patches. Then we have super sensitive uh, felt buttons and then we just got plain felt buttons. So hopefully with these ones we can actually do a good session of the cleaning and the most important thing for this one is ballistol. This is actually a nice uh, cleaner, it doesn't destroy your o-rings but Regardless, I wouldn't want to soak, soak them up in ballistol anyway. And how we're gonna do this, we're gonna pre-soak a few patches in ballistol. And I'm just gonna take around, around 10 or something from here. There you have them. And then we're gonna take the Another set that is just plain one and remember to use the non aerosol version of this because we don't want to have anything, any carriers or anything like that on this, this thing. So yeah, let's just dip it in like this. There's a nice amount of ballast hole. And let's rub it in. I'll let it soak for a bit. And uh, what I would recommend doing is this uh, inside there's an o ring. I would recommend actually removing it before you start cleaning. But in this particular situation, I'm gonna change the o-ring after I film the video so we don't have to do that now but if you're planning on it I would recommend changing it 
and or changing or removing it before you actually clean it. And the 22 caliber is white, as we saw on the manual. Ooh. And how can we get the white one out? And there you go. Then we're just gonna thread it through. There it is. Come on. Go on there. It's a little bit tricky, but it'll be fine. So there you have it. We got that one there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the first ballistol salt patch. Uh, it has a little pointy dippy thing here. You're just gonna feed it through like so. There you have it. And then we're just gonna feed it through the barrel. And how you want to do this is you'll just pull straight through and don't rub against the crown in in any way it'll just cause you headaches in the future Ooh. okay let's see let's see how dirty it is so quite a lot of gunk there I have to say so let's take this one off it wasn't too bad it wasn't the worst what I imagined so I'll just put another one and the good thing with ballistol is that it's kind of a kind of a how would I say it it's also a good lubricant on there so it prevents if you're putting the gun into a storage or something I would recommend running a patch of ballistol cleaning patches through so you don't get that corrosion or rust or anything like that building up there so here we can see the second patch. So let's actually take it and put it there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna run the patches through up until it's like relatively clean. And we're gonna finish it off with clean, unlubricated patches. So just dry, clean patches, and that should do the work then. Get the rest of the stuff out. So, it's starting to look pretty good already. I'm pretty, pretty impressed. I have to say the previous barrel that I had, the Hat Sands Nova Star barrel, it lit it up way faster, so the grooves on the barrel were quite aggressive, I would say. It was good for shooting slugs the Nova Star barrel, but for some reason it just didn't really like any of the pellets except the 18 grain pellets. That 18 grain FX pellets was the only one really that it liked. So it was a little bit difficult to shoot with it. So 
now we can actually see how clean the last one is so I would say that's sufficiently clean the last one let's put a little light come on so there you have it that's the last one I would say that's a pretty good pretty good result uh, and we're just gonna now run now run it through with clean patches so we got unlubricated patches here let's actually do these ones and I'm gonna run these through and that should be it so I'll just take this one run it through So let's see how it looks. It looks pretty nice, I would say. So let's run four patches in total. And I think we should be good to go. Good to go back to the range. So still a little bit, a little bit gunk there, but not by much. <laughs> yes! Look at that baby. That looks good. Okay, so last one and that should be it. the fourth one I would say there's still a little bit you can see of dirt but not I'd call it a day I think that's good good enough for me so there you have it I'll actually take a picture of this one and show it to you in uh, detail so first we when we run it through the through the uh, barrel it was like really gunked up and everything and we ran four patches of the ballistalled ones and then we ran it with unballistalled normal patches and we got a pretty fine result so yeah I would call it a day and uh, see you on the next one